Welcome to lesson number 15, working with updates. Applications are updated to address a variety of issues, make changes to specific configurations, or enhance their functionality. For MSI packages, we can perform updates through patches and upgrades. Patching using MSPs is similar to installing an add-on to an already installed application to update it. Upgrading, also referred to as a small update or minor update, is the process of reinstalling a new improved version of an MSI over an already installed version of the MSI. There are pros and cons for both methods. Patches are smaller in size and they can be downloaded or distributed faster, but these have strict rules of creation. Updates, on the other hand, are easier to use because technically you are reinstalling the MSI from scratch. But if you have a large application, this implies longer download times and more space occupied when installing them. Let's have a look on how you can create an update for an MSI, but also how to create a patch. We will start with an MSI version 1.0 present on my machine. We will create a new MSI project and then navigate to the upgrades page and then click on the new upgrade button. A new window emerges asking if we want to upgrade something currently installed on the PC or another MSI. We'll select the MSI file and press OK. We now have a few options to consider. First, do we want to upgrade only the specified languages or all of them? I'm going to leave English here, but if you have several languages defined in your installation, you'll need to add them here as well. Next, we want to uninstall the old product and install the new one, correct? You can also leave it on the machine while installing the latest version. Or you can choose to continue the installation if the previous version could not be removed. And this is how you create an upgrade for an MSI. Isn't it simple? Now, to create a patch, it's a bit more tricky. A patch is an incremental update to an existing installation of your application. If the target version, the one you wish to upgrade, is absent, you cannot install a patch. To generate a patch for your application, you must create the MSI for version 1.0 of your app, create the MSI for version 1.0 following the patch rules, and create a patch project where advanced installer performs a difference of the two MSI packages. So basically, you need to create an update MSI for your initial MSI, and then by using the diff feature, Advanced Installer will create the patch. There are many things to consider in terms of patching, and if we go over all of them now, it will take too much time. All this information is well presented in the MSI Packaging eBook available for free download on advancedinstaller.com. Check the link in the description. Next, let's create a patch project and navigate to the images page. Right click and select new upgraded and first save the project. After you save your project, Advanced Installer will ask you for the first MSI. This is the version 1.0 MSI. Next, right click and select new target and select the MSI. This is the new MSI which contains all of the changes. Consider it like version 1.1. After that, all we have to do is click build and our resulting MSP file is created. That's it for this video. In the next one, we will have a look over dehar coding and variabilization in MSIs.